Meanwhile, in Charlotte, two project proposals could reshape parts of South Charlotte. City Council tonight holding public hearings on both developments, hoping to come to the Queen City. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman takes a closer look for us. Both projects total about 180 acres and could create a mix of housing totaling over 1500 units. One project is smaller than the other, but is being met with fierce opposition. People in green flooded the government center Monday, but it wasn't for St. Patrick's Day. This is very rare, something like this. Two big rezoning petitions in Councilman Ed Driggs' district are being considered at the same time. Piper Glen residents are urging city officials to vote no on the petition to build 640 apartments and townhomes, mostly for a retirement community on 53 acres next to the Four Mile Greenway. We've asked them three times to reduce it, and they haven't. The land, called the Gillespie property, will be developed. Driggs says the decision is whether to allow the developer to build houses and duplexes, as allowed in the UDO, or rezone the property for higher density but with added community benefits. Our UDO promotes the idea of higher density housing and a diversity of housing types. So people in single family home areas are thinking, I don't want that here. That's not what this area is like. His district is also home to 125 acres of farmland called the Cato property on Tom Short Road. It could be the future home to over 900 apartments, townhomes and houses, plus a middle school but neighbors oppose this petition too. If the Gillespie rezoning was an exhibit for overcrowding and dense, over-densifying Charlotte, <clears throat> the Cato uh, rezoning is exhibit 1B for that. Driggs says he will not support the Gillespie proposal as it stands, but the Cato one has promise. No, I'm just hoping on Cato in particular that we can uh, work with the residents to achieve an improvement on the stormwater side uh, and a minimum impact on traffic. Charlotte leaders noted this public hearing highlights issues in the city's new zoning code called the UDO. They think more work needs to be done to ensure infrastructure can support growth. In Uptown, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. Car